Here's how to properly check uh, the transmission frame. This is a Volvo S60s, 2001-2009. I think it's pretty much the same for all models, uh, XC70 as well, let's see, S80 and so on. Uh, one thing, turn the AC off because uh, it will spin the radiator fan and that cools down the transmission fluid because the fluid inside the transmission cooling line it keep continuously flows through the radiator there's no thermostat so we'll keep it off drive inside the city for at least 30 minutes inside the city if you drive on a highway the air from the uh, just the air airflow goes into the radiator and it's cooling the fluid transmission uh, more so uh, drive inside the city 30 minutes to warm it fully up it should be at 80 degrees celsius if it's not at that Celsius, uh, at, uh, that fully armed temperature, uh, the level will really variate a lot on the dipstick. You are really getting a wrong measure. Try to get a place uh, where the ground is really, really flat, no inclination, no uh, slopes, no uh, uh, stuff like that. And again, summertime only. I don't think you will ever take a good measurement in winter time doesn't matter it, the fluid won't get to the correct temperature let's just pop out the hood so the engine is running in park the engine must be running at idle I try to speak louder so the deep stick is right there this is a return hose right here the dipstick is right underneath. I don't have gloves. I'm gonna burn a little bit my hand, but please use gloves or just get a cloth over that return hose because it's really hot, 90 degrees Celsius at least. On this thing, on an tumor model, it's easier to access. The turbo has an extra pipe, I think, or something like this, or uh, just wiring. It's really not easy to get access to that dipstick. It's the yellow one right there, I think, you can see right there so if you have a turbo engine just try first with a cold engine locate it maybe pull some hoses maybe put something in between the hoses to keep them distant and then warm up the engine and try this so let's just pull it from there the deep stick has a small metal tub right on the left side that keeps it a little bit uh, stuck in there so don't just pull on it try to with one finger bend a little bit the metal tub and with the other finger just pull on the deep stick Uh, you won't see it because uh, I cannot get the camera there. The metal tab is actually towards the front of the engine. Aye. Yeah, the radiator fan started to blow uh, hot air, really hot air from the radiator. So it really gets almost burning on the skin. That's how hot it is. So first thing first is just clean it. I'm trying to do this one hand, clean it nicely and then put it back in place. It's not exactly easy to see where the hole is, maybe you get a flashlight or something. Plus I'm doing this with one hand. Insert it fully, depress it down, again, watch out so you don't burn it yourself too much and then pull it again. So let's have a read on this. It's it's a good thing to check the bolt size. And what I want to see is sometimes the dipstick when you just pull this guy from the tube. The tube has uh, some oil on it, some uh, fluid, um, transmission fluid on it, and that fluid may get just all over the dipstick. So maybe just look for some some place uh, at the top where the fluid seems a little bit thicker that's the key word here look for thicker fluid not just smell just a, like sometimes you may see a droplet or something and look on both sides you see the hot mark uh, it's looking just the other way you can see the hot mark is just a little bit above the hot mark if I can see that's better so you notice there's really thicker fluid at that point Maybe look on both sides, you see one side on mine has more fluid. Honestly, I think maybe the right reading is the, the one that has the higher level of fluid. You may watch it like this, but I just want to keep the fluid on the dipstick. So definitely look for the side that sits higher. 
So in this case, it's just a little bit too much, but it's not a really, really big problem. Also, between the min and max, you notice uh, I don't have another finger. Check my leg. This is the max level. This is the min level. This is for hot fluid. The cold fluid level here doesn't really matter. So don't. Uh, you, I don't think you need to use it. Some say the mechanic Volvo mechanics use it when the engine is fully cold and they just refill the transmission. But I don't believe that. So always check only the hot side uh, spot mark and. Uh, and uh, check you have fluid at that very much and that's all.